Hello, my name is George Meekin. My PhD project is in the field of display technology, and I have been investigating displays which use a binary spatial light modulator as the image engine. This type of display works by having a sequence of very short pulses of light, different images which combine together in the visual system to give a single image. These pulses can be controlled and changed by having different durations, intensities, and also the pixel aperture size can be changed. By investigating the ways these different methods can be combined, I've discovered that much faster schemes are possible, allowing refresh rates uh, many times above those of existing display types. I've been able to implement these on a special test projector, which has controllable LEDs. Although there were some interesting projects on offer, I actually proposed my own master's dissertation project after taking the display technology course uh, with my supervisor. This came up because I noticed during the course that there was some potential to apply the techniques of binary dithering, which are used with digital projectors, to um, a type of liquid crystal called ferroelectrics, which have very fast binary switching. During the course of this project, I discovered that there was actually a lot more that could be done with binary dithering, which would be applicable to both types of image engine, and decided to pursue this during my PhD project. I would definitely recommend the course. The staff and the students were friendly and helpful, and lots of the teaching was done through small seminars, which I found helpful, as this allowed for opportunities for interaction and asking questions, which helped me understand things. The facilities were also excellent, with lots of uh, cutting edge and high-tech equipment, which allows for interesting research. And we got to try lots of these out through some practicals and laboratories. For me, the best thing about this course was that it was so broad, it covered a wide range of interesting topics in this field of ultra-precision engineering, which built on my background of manufacturing very well. This gave me an opportunity to try out lots of different things and see how I got on with them before committing to a three-year project, which I really appreciated. If I did the course again, I might find a completely different but equally interesting topic for my PhD. I would also try to take advantage of being a student in Cambridge in general, which for me would mean attending lectures hosted by other departments and also student-run societies.